So today we're going to replace the cabin air filter in the 2010 Hyundai Elantra GLS. So first you want to start by lowering the glove compartment drawer. And you'll notice, like most glove compartments, it only goes down so far. Um, primarily that's because of two rubber bumpers, one on the left side and one on the right hand side, prevent this drawer from falling down any further. So obviously we need to release them before the drawer will come down so that we can get to the cabin air filter. In order to release these tabs, um, it's relatively easy. Um, as you can see, I attempted at first to um, help f um, pop this tab out a little bit from the side of the glove compartment box by using a small flathead screwdriver. And although I didn't apply much pressure, it was enough to scrape it up a little bit. So there's an easier way of doing this, um, so hopefully this helps you. Um, essentially, this little small area back here we'll use as a depressor, so if you apply some pressure to it with your finger, it actually um, separates this back tab from the side of the glove compartment box. The key to this is once you do this, um, you want to slide this tab back toward you. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. There we go. So as you're sliding, as you push this in, to help slide this back towards you, lift the glove compartment drawer up a little bit, and this will slide back towards you. The key to this here is this little rubber um, bumper here has, has to um, come out. So that's the entire piece there. Um, it's simple to get back in, so we'll just place that in there for now. To repeat that on the, on the right hand side, again use your index finger here, apply some pressure, pull the drawer up a little bit so that um, you have some room to work. Popping this out, using your thumb to help get the rubber bumper through the hole. Now the glove compartment will drop a little bit lower. It doesn't drop all the way because on the side here, there's still one little plastic hook here. Um, just where my thumb is, just pull this in a little bit, slide the black part off, and then the drawer will slide all the way down. Nice place for the rubber bumpers, huh? Okay, now we can quite easily get to the cabin air filter. Not a lot of room to work in here, but um, we don't need a lot of room. So, this small area here, just need to use your two fingers to squeeze them together, and then this part slides out. The other end of this uh, black compartment drawer is a small tab that just, you know, just wiggle it a little bit, and it comes right out. As you can see, there's just a little tab there that holds it in place. As far as the air filter goes, there should be a small tab. Um, it's paper, obviously, so the pleats, you can just work your fingers in a little bit to try to get a, a little hold of it and then pull it out. You don't want to uh, distort the, the shape of the filter too much, though, or it might not come out um, evenly. Just separate it a little bit. Now this is the first cabin air filter change that I performed. This car is about 10 months old. So as you can see, um, it gets quite dirty. Um, and this is what you're breathing in um, when you have the air on in your car. So pretty good idea to change that out, huh? Now watching the way, um, the way that this air filter came out, we can see um, based on these guides which way we need to put the new air filter back in. And it looks like airflow that way. There's an airflow indicator. That's how it was installed. Airflow indicator, so we can be um, relatively certain this is the way that we're going to slide it back in. Line it up a little bit, making sure that the um, the pleats are not caught on anything. You don't want to force it in there and tear it. Work it back and forth to work it in there. Seems like it has a pretty snug fit. Maybe a little bit easier if I used um, two hands at the same time.
Almost in there. Take this out. 